Amen. We say praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalms 150 says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. And praise him with the sorcery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Verse 6 says, let everything that hath breath. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. And the word of God is blessed. If you have breath in your body, the scripture says, let everything that hath breath, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't come here at a routine. We don't come here at a tradition. But we've come to be in the presence of the Lord. So if you have breath in your body, let's pay God back with our praise. Hallelujah. If you have a mouth, tell God thank you. If you have hands, put your hands together. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. God's been too good to us to keep our mouth closed. I don't care what position you are in life. We got to understand that we serve a sovereign God. And God is a good God. Somebody say, yes, he is. God is a good God. Somebody say, yes, he is. Ah! Hallelujah. God's been too good to keep my mouth closed. Praise the name of God. So before we go to the throne of grace, can we begin to worship God right where you are? Hallelujah. Can we just begin to tell God who he is? Can we begin to reverence the name of God? Can we begin to give a good God a good praise? The Bible says they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Praise the name of God. So if God is true to you, Let's begin to worship the name of God. Let's make a sound in this house. I know we're few in number. We can make a sound in this house. Praise the name of God. The Bible says whether there's two or three gathered in my name, there I will be in the midst of them. And I can count there's more than two or three in the house on today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we give you glory. Hallelujah. God, we give you praise. Hallelujah. God, we reverence you. Hallelujah. God, we worship you. Hallelujah. God, we give you the highest praise. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we bless your name. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. God, we bless you. God, we give you glory. God, we give you honor. God, we give you praise. God, we don't come to, together for form or fashion. We're not here, oh God, out of obligation. God, but we're here to bless your name. We're here, God, because we say we love you. God, we're here, God, to be in your presence. We're here, God, hallelujah, oh God, to get a touch from you. Oh, God, hallelujah. Oh, we're here to bless the name of Jesus. Oh, forgetting those things which are behind them and reaching forward to those things which are before. Oh, God, I press towards the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. And God, we come before you right now to say thank you. Oh, God, we bless your name. Oh, we thank you, God, for touching us this morning allowing us to see another day. We thank you, God, for your finger of love. Oh, God, for breathing life into our bodies. We don't give acknowledgement to the alarm clock. 
oh God, we don't give credence to the alarm on the phone. But it was your touch, God, that woke us up this morning. It was your touch that put us in our right minds. And for that, God, we say thank you. Oh, we thank you, God, for the activities of our limbs. We thank you, God, for being in our right minds. We thank you, God, for the necessities of life. We thank you, God, for our sight. We thank you, God, for a mouth to praise you. We thank you, God, for hands to bless you. We thank you, God, hallelujah, oh, God, for running water. We thank you, God, for clothes on our back. We thank you, God, for a roof on our head. We thank you, God, for food to eat, God. We thank you, God, that we don't have to stand in the line for food. We thank you, God, oh, God, for your blessing. Oh, we bless your name right now. Hallelujah. God, you're worthy. God, you're worthy. God, you're worthy. Hallelujah. And we give you glory. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we've come today, oh, God, asking, oh, God, that you bless your people today, God. Oh, God, our coming is not in vain. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we bless your name, oh, God. For we know our coming is not in vain. For we are in the very presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we thank you, God, for your presence. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you, God, for those that are here, for those that press their way out, for those that know, oh, God, if I could just get to the presence of God, oh, God, everything will be all right. If I could just touch the hem of your garment, I shall be made whole. If I could just get to the doors, oh, God, everything will be all right. Oh, God, we thank you right now. Oh, God, somebody said life is hard. Somebody said the struggle is real. But I've come to tell you, Lord, thank you, because Jesus is real. The struggle is real, but Jesus is real. I know the Lord is real to me. Ah, God, hallelujah. I know you're real to me. Oh, God, we bless your name today. God, we give you glory. Oh, God, hallelujah. The song says, life now is sweet. And my joy is complete. Because I'm saved, God. I'm saved, God. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, we thank you because we're saved. God, you saved us from a life of sin. God, we're saved. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. Oh, God, we bless your name, oh, God. Oh, God, there's so much going on in the world. Oh, God, there's so much happening, oh, God. But you are God. Oh, God, you told us in your word, oh, God, that the government shall be on your shoulders. Oh, God, that's why we call you wonderful. That's why we call you counselor. God, you are the mighty God. You're the everlasting Father. God, you're the Prince of Peace. And we thank you right now. Bless God this service. God, your presence is already here. Bless this service, God. God, let no one leave the same way they came in the house. Oh, God, but let us leave our burdens on the altar. God, let us lay down every weight and every sin on the altar. Help us to lay it down, oh God, and not to pick it up anymore. Oh, God, because you're the only one that can handle it. You're the only one that can take it. Oh, God, take it from us, God. Consecrate us now. Sanctify us now in the name of Jesus. God, bless your man servant today uh, that comes and bring a word today, oh, God. Oh, God, bless every aspect of this service. Bless your people, God. Remember our mothers, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you, God, for Mother Bash walking in the doors on today, God. We thank you, God, for touching her body. We thank you, God, for even yet working a miracle in her life. Um, remember right now, Mother Rita Freeman, God, touch her mind, oh, God. Touch her body, God. Have your way in her life. God, we're calling out Sister Kima right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we plead the blood right now. The attack of the enemy, God. The 
the confusion from the enemy, God. Enemy comes to plant doubt, God. We come against it right now. In the name of Jesus, the enemy comes as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Oh, God, you told us in your word that you come, God, that we may have life and life more abundantly. But right now, oh, God, in the life of Sister Kima, touch her right now. Touch her mind, oh, God. The battle within, God. Touch her right now. In the name of Jesus, have your way, God, right now. God, wherever she may be, touch her right now. In the name of Jesus. God, bless your people today, God. Bless the praise and worship today, God. Every song that we sing, God. Receive our worship, God. Bless us today, God. As only as you can. And as only as you will. And we thank you right now. We thank you right now. We thank you right now. Hallelujah. God, we give you glory. We give you honor. And we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everybody say amen. Come on, clap your hands all over the house. Come on, let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Let's make a sound in the house. Hallelujah. 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 That's what we come to do. We come to reverence the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The scripture says, let everything that has breath, we got to praise the Lord. I know life may not be what you think it should be. I know you may not be where you think you should be in life. But somebody said God is a good God even on a bad day. And if you believe God is a good God on a bad day, I dare you right now to open up your mouth. I dare you right now to wave your hands. I dare you right now to give God some praise. And watch God work in your life. Ah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah! Hallelujah. Oh yes, hallelujah. Oh yes, hallelujah. God is worthy. God is worthy. He's worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Somebody know God to be a healer. Somebody know God to be a deliverer. Somebody know God to be a way maker. Somebody say he's a doctor in the sick room. Somebody say he's a lawyer in the courtroom. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, I ain't going to stop nobody's praise. If you got to praise, you get it out. If there's something you want to tell the Lord, you get it out. Because God has been good to us. I'm not want to stop nobody from praising God. If we want to stay here at this point for a half an hour, we'll stay right here. Hallelujah. It's time out for coming to the house of God. And you comfortable in your seat. It's time out to come into the house. And you just comfortable showing up. To just come into the house and you have absolutely nothing to tell God. Praise the name of God. The Bible said it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. God deserves our praise. 
He deserves our worship. Hallelujah. 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 Oh God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let everything that has breath, let everything that has breath, let everything that has breath, let everything that has breath. I dare you to call on the name of Jesus. How many of you know there's power in the name of Jesus? How many of you know there's power in the name of Jesus? All you gotta do is call it. All you gotta do is call it. All you gotta do is say Jesus. Say Jesus. There's power. Wondrous working power. Ah! In the blood of Jesus. There's wondrous working power in the blood of the Lamb. And as we approach the day of Pentecost, praise the name of God. The Bible says on the day of Pentecost, they were all on one accord, of one mind. Praise the name of God. That means that when they all came together, that they had nobody to coach them. And they had nobody to tell them to say thank you. They had nobody to tell them how good God was. But they came in the house expecting God to move. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Got to get to a place where we come to the house of God. And we just expect God to move. It would be beautiful if we come into the house. And we don't need somebody to say, clap your hands. We don't need somebody to say, wave your hand. We don't need somebody to say, hallelujah. We don't need somebody to tell you to say, God, thank you. But you know that God has been good to you. That is of the Lord's mercies that you will not consume just this week. Time and time again, I pass accidents on the highway. And I'm not in the number. Because I could be one of those that truck has flipped over. I could be one that truck is on fire under a bridge somewhere. But I get to come into the house and tell the people how God spared my life. See, some of you just don't get it. That it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing, it's a blessing to be able to tell the Lord's goodness. That's how you pay God back. And see, we always want to talk about the benefits. Time and time again, we talk about the benefits. But we got to learn how to pay God back. And how do you pay God back? With the fruit of your lips. You give God the fruit of your lips. That's how you pay God back. I know life is hard. I know you struggle. I know you're going to do. Guess what? I go through too. But I don't let the struggle dictate to my response. Life is hard, but God, you're good. God, I'm confused, but God, you're good. My heart is broke, but God, you're good. My body is afflicted, but God, you're good. People left my life, but God, you're good. God. God, 
God is good and his mercy endureth forever. Praise the name of God. I'm not going to hold you. Because I can go all day. I can talk about the goodness of God all day long. Because I know what God has done in my life. Praise the name of God. So we're going to attempt, amen, to move this service forward. And at this time, we're going to call, amen, on Sister Mila that she may come and read the House of Prayers, the Affirmation of Faith. Come on, clap your hands. We affirm our faith in the Bible. We believe the Bible to be the inspired and only infallible written word of God. Yes. We affirm our faith in God. We believe there is one God, our Heavenly Father, yes. creator of all life and eternal existence. We affirm our faith in the blessed hope. Amen. We believe in the blessed hope, in the blessed hope which is the rapture of the church of God his people who are in Christ at his return. We affirm our faith in sanctification. We believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this, presence wo in this present world. We affirm our faith in Jesus Christ. We believe in the redemptive work on of Christ on the cross. It provides healing for the human body, mind, and soul according to your faith. We affirm the reality of freedom in Christ. It is our freedom that Christ has set us free. This freedom is a gift of God in Christ, and it manifests itself in a right relationship with God and others. It is not a private gift to be used selfishly, but is given to serve the community and the world. Amen. Amen. This is the house of prayer, the affirmation of faith. Come on, clap your hands all over the house. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for that. At this time, we're going to call on Sister Nadine as she may come and read the scripture of the morning. Come on, can we stand for God's word as she comes? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. God is worthy to be praised. Amen. The scripture of the morning will be coming from Psalms chapter 24, verses 1 through 10. And it reads, The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands, and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. And may God add a blessing to the reading of his word. At this time, we're going to turn the remainder of the service over into the hands of First Lady. In Jesus' name. Thank you so much. We'd like to say good morning again and praise the Lord to everyone. Hallelujah. We just praise God for Elder Desmond for his exhortation, encouraging us saints. We got to praise God in the good times. Yeah. The bad times, the uncertain times, at all times, hallelujah, we have to praise him. And I, as I was looking through my notes, I had something written here. I have too many flaws to be perfect, but 
I have too many blessings to be ungrateful. And saints, I have a grateful heart on this morning because you know what? For one thing, we made the wake-up call. We woke up this morning, and we just didn't wake up, but we have our right mind. So many woke up, but they don't have their right mind. But we thank God for the activities of our limbs. We were able to get up. We didn't need anyone to wash us, to brush our teeth, to comb our hair. We can do it on our own, but we thank God that he's been so kind. Regardless of what we're going through, saints, we owe him praise. And I'm not here to give you no lesson, but I'm here to encourage you on this morning that we serve a mighty good God. Hallelujah. He's not sleep, neither does he slumber. He don't take a nap. He sees what's going on. He's not blind to what we're dealing with. Hallelujah. But what is your faith telling you? I'm coming out of this. Hallelujah. This won't last always. Hallelujah. God is a good God, church. Hallelujah. Sometimes God want to see just what our response is going to be. Because when things are going well, anybody can praise God. Anybody can shout the joy. But what if things are going contrary? Can you still give God the fruit of your lips? So we thank God for this opportunity to stand, saints. I just love the Lord with my whole heart. I was sharing with Elder Desmond this morning. We are blessed. I was going to the dentist early yesterday, and as I'm driving through Bayonne, there was a long line going through the park, people waiting for food. And sometimes we think we're not blessed, but saints, we're better than blessed. Hallelujah. We have more than enough. And sometimes you need to look back and see just how blessed you are. We're blessed. Whether you believe it or not, you're blessed. Hallelujah. You're blessed. And we thank God for this moment to see your faces. Someone says, I'm glad to see you and not viewing you. And that's a, a true statement. We can be looking down on somebody, but we thank God that we still have life. The blood running warm through our veins. Hallelujah. And I bless his name, God. Hallelujah. I bless him. Don't take his goodness for granted. I'm at that age in my life now. I see everything God. Even when things go contrary, I see everything God. Because all things work together for the good to them that love him. And to him that a her that's called according to his purpose. And guess what? The scripture also said, this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning who? Concerning you. So we have to remember, it's working for our good, whether we believe it or not. Some good's going to come out of it, saints. So be encouraged. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up. The everlasting doors. And what? The king of glory. Hallelujah. He shall come in. So we're going to go to our service this morning and I just wanted to send you those words of comfort be encouraged God really is on our side if you walk away from God where are you going to go where can I go who can I turn to nobody but Jesus church hallelujah don't let the devil steal your joy hallelujah and guess what your blessing is right there he's trying to distract you your blessing is right there so be encouraged again we're going to go into the service. I'm not going to be before you long, but I pray that you're uplifted, whether it's through song or the word of God. Something will be said or done that will encourage you to go through another week. We praise God for again. Oh, come. We're here to adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come.
just adore him, church. Oh, come, hallelujah. Oh, come, oh, yes. oh, come, hallelujah. oh, come, hallelujah. Oh. Let us. Let us worship and bow down. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Let us kneel before the Lord our Hallelujah. maker. Hallelujah. Oh, the Lord Hallelujah. knows what we need, church. Hallelujah. Because he's Christ. Because he's Christ. Because he's Christ. Because he's Christ. Oh, because he's Christ. Christ. Going on, oh yes, I do. I feel like going and on. The trials they come, and guess what? They're pressing all over. They're pressing all over me because. But I feel like, I feel like, oh, and all. I said I feel like going, going on. Oh, yes, I do. I feel like, oh.
going on. And guess what? The cares of life will get the best of you if you let it. But guess what? Lord, don't let me fail. I want to be your bride. And guess what? Wing my way I need him to walk right by my side. And when my faith grows weak, Lord, help me to see something in my life you've done for me. Those that don't know, you can put your hands together.
my joy. I still have my joy and peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After all that I've been through, I still have my joy. After all that I've been through, church, hallelujah, I still, mother, I still have it. Have my joy after all that I've been through. I still, I still have my joy. I still have my joy. That was one of my mom's songs in church. And I understand what she's talking about. All that I've been through. And we've all been through something. But I still have my peace after all that I've been through I can say I still had my peace church after all that I've been through I still had my peace I still had my peace been through I still had my joy after all that I've been through I still had my joy after all that I've been through I still I still had my joy Lord And after all that we've been through, we can still testify. After all that we've been through, I can still testify of his goodness. After all that I've been through, I can still, I can still testify. Oh, I still, I still can testify. And what I'm saying, testify, I can still testify of his goodness, even going through. After all, Aldina, that I've been through, you've been through, you've been through. We can still, we can still have our joy. After all that we've been through. We still have our joy. Oh, after all, after all, after all that we've been through, we still have our joy. Oh, I still, I still, I still, church, I still, I still, I will, I have, I won't let it go.
Go ahead and meditate. Go ahead and meditate. Keep playing, brother Joe. Hallelujah. 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 Now is the time to thank him. Praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, keep, keep, keep concentrating. He, he's working, hallelujah. He's working. He's working on the inside. He's working on the inside, hallelujah. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Bless his name. Oh, glory. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Now is the time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I greet you on this first Sunday of May in the year of 2024. Feeling good in my sanctified soul. But no matter how you feel, Satan is always going to try to stop and get you to turn around. But because of who he is, we continually to press Toward the mark of the high calling. Come on and say high calling. Glory to God, which is in Christ Jesus. This is not my scripture this morning, but the Lord told me to read it, and I'm going to read it. And I just want you to listen. It was in the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 31, and we're going to read. It says that beginning at verse number one, down to four, at the same time, said the Lord, will I be the God of all the families of Israel? And they shall be my people. Thus said the Lord, the people which were left 
on the sword found grace in the wilderness. Even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. The Lord has a period of old unto me saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Jeremiah 31. I'm reading it at verse number 4 now. Again, I will build thee. Thy shall be built, O virgin of Israel. Thy shall again build dawn with thy tablet. And shafts go forth in the dance of them that make merry. God has always wanted people to love him and be like him. Yesterday was a marvelous day for me. I'm still celebrating celebrating of 41 years of marriage. I would like to direct your attention this morning to the book of Psalms. Psalms, very short chapter. Psalms 1, 33. When you have that, will you stand to your feet, please? Oh, glory to God. And I just want you to, you can read it silently, but I want to read it. I want you to meditate on it. I want you to listen to it. The Bible always tells us, say, that we need to get an understanding. And this is David. It says, Behold. How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Come on and say unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that runs down upon the beard. Even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garment. As the dew of Hermon. And as the dew that descended upon the mountain of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessings, even life forevermore. For there the Lord commanded blessing, even life forevermore. And the little thought that I would like to penetrate in your soul this morning is when we are one. When we are one. We look at Psalms. Dave is doing an ascent that the Lord had given him where we focus on our God given diversity of people. When we look at people, there is a diversity around this world. You can be seated. Our call is to find unity in the midst of diversity. Unity in the midst of 
diversity. One of the most amazing things about Psalm 133 is that God, through David, is telling us, saying that God is commanding a blessing to all of his people. And when we find unity in the house of God, you're going to find blessings that follow. Come on and say amen. Glory to God. Shall we pray? Father, in the precious name of thy Son, our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you today. We thank you, Lord, for this thou people, your people, who pressed their way out on this dreary day to glorify you, to magnify you, to lift you up, and to say thank you, Lord, for life, health, and strength. Lord, thank you for diversity you have created in the world. Help us to celebrate our differences. Help us, Lord, to see our strength and live into the blessings that you have commanded. When we find unity and harmony with one another, this is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. One of the speaking about when we be our one. Even though we are some sitting on the right, some sitting here, some sitting in the middle, some sitting on my right, we got people in the pulpit, we still should be in unity. That means that we are thinking about the same thing. We come here for the same thing. Amen? Hallelujah. We need unity. I think that we will all agree that unity is important. And unity is important in relationships. Uh, unity is important in sports. Unity is important Hallelujah, in business. And unity is even important in politics. This is why government can't get nothing done now. Because there is no unity in Congress. There is no unity in the Senate. There is no unity even in the White House. They are all struggling because of the diversities and the differences. They can't come together to do nothing. Come on and say, thank you, Jesus. We're talking about unity. Glory to God. So I would say that if we would look, we would say that unity is important along with harmony that brings the world around us together. Hallelujah. If we, we all would agree that unity is hard to achieve sometimes because of the different diversities of our culture. Hallelujah. But we have to learn to put your differences on the side when it comes to pleasing and praising God. Hallelujah. I know that we are human. Glory to God. And sometimes uh, we can get beside ourselves. Uh, but when we come to the house of God, uh, we should come in unity because uh, when unity comes together, 
God will bless his people. I believe that if I was able to reach back down in the hands of time and I would call on Moses, I believe that Moses would tell you that unity is important. Oh, glory to God in the eyes of God. Hallelujah. We have different goals. Our motivation and expectations are different. Hallelujah. But what if God intentionally made us different in order to highlight our need for one another? Glory to God. Elder Faisal, don't you know I need you? Glory to God. I know that, hallelujah, that you have some things uh, that are different from mine. Uh, but we need one another. Uh, and we have to learn, hallelujah, to put what you need uh, and what I need, uh, hallelujah, on the side and say, Lord, what do you need me to do? Well, hallelujah. Stop comparing your lives to the world. I'll say that again. Stop comparing your wives, your lives to the world. Glory to God. Because they're living, hallelujah, and sparkling luster. Glory to God. Don't you know all of that stuff is going to be destroyed? Glory to God. Don't compare your life even to my life. Hallelujah. Let the Lord snatch you. Glory to God. He wants to bless us when we come here in the church where Christ died for. Glory to God. And when we get in unity, glory to God. The power of God comes in. Glory to God. And works in our lives. Glory to God. God don't care about how strong you are. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. To highlight our strengths and weaknesses and to show that we are truly better than when we are separate. We are better when we come together. We are strong. Glory to God. When we work together, it has always been intended for man to work. Even in the garden, hallelujah, man was going to have to work. So working is a part of life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The truth is that there is not one single person who possesses all the gifts talents, abilities, and time to make everything work in their life. The truth is, and the Bible says it this way, that we are one body with many parts. Glory to God. I was driving over this morning, thank you Jesus, to pick up Sister Alicia. And I was listening to my motor. Hallelujah, that motor running smooth. But then I heard some noise in the transmission. Glory to God. The transmission, when it is not working right, will affect the motor. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I began to say, Lord, glory to God, help us, Lord, to learn, hallelujah, to sweep our differences under the rug, glory to God, and come in the house of God in unity and work, Lord, work out our soul salvation. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. The truth is that we are the first 
fixed and that's not a flaw being different is not a flaw glory to God God made you that way we need your difference in the body wherever you are to make the body work better come on and say thank you Jesus glory to God Psalms glory to God hallelujah 133 tells us that it is that God commands a blessing, hallelujah, where his people are united as one. Oh, glory to God. When we are one, when we are working together, that means that we are working in harmony. Oh, glory to God. You ever heard somebody in a choir that's off key? Glory to God. It throws the whole thing off. But when we come to God, we got to learn to be in harmony. Hallelujah. If someone nudges you and tell you you are not on key, oh glory to God, stop getting upset. Stop getting an attitude. Glory to God. And come into harmony and allow the Lord, the Lord to bless you. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are working in harmony. Oh, glory to God. We work in unity. We work in harmony. Oh, glory to God. Then we are accomplishing now what God intends for us a bit of being, what he wants us to to do what God intended for us from the very beginning. God wanted Adam hallelujah, to work with Eve. He wanted Eve to work with Adam. Oh, thank you, Jesus. But see, oh, Lucifer was in the garden. Ah, the Lord of God. Hallelujah. You can't allow the enemy into your area of preparation for God is getting ready to bless you. You got to rebuke him. You got to cast him out because God is getting ready to bless. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is looking for unity. Hallelujah. But unity is not always Sought after. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You look at these big churches. Hallelujah. They're not getting the word. They're getting everything but the word. Glory to God. You go into these big churches. Hallelujah. Pastors don't even know your name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can sit way in the back, glory to God, and miss your blessing. But when all of God's people come together in unity, glory to God, and praise him, the song says, when praises go up, hallelujah, blessings will come down. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Doing. Glory to God. The course of Israel's history, the people had not always sought unity. Glory to God. You got to be careful when you get out under the covering of God. Oh, glory to God. You will fall for anything. Glory to God. We go out. Hallelujah. And, and, and think just because of the glory to God that I'm saved, that I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Ain't nobody praying for you. You out there on your own. I don't care how strong you are. You need the covenant of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God said, I will bless them that 
blessed me. Oh, glory to God. Do you want to be blessed? Bless the Lord. Come on, house. Bless the Lord. The Lord will bless you. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Israel, hallelujah, was so warily, hallelujah, they didn't want God to be their king, hallelujah, they wanted, hallelujah, a man king, glory to God, so God gave them exactly what they wanted, gave him Saul, Glory to God. But Saul, hallelujah, didn't listen to God all the time. Oh, glory to God. See, this is what happens when you get out of God and get into self. You think that you don't have to listen to God anymore. Oh, glory to God. That you think uh, because you got some power, glory to God, that your power is equal to God. But I'm here to tell you uh, that the Bible says uh, that all power, glory to God, uh, not some power, but all power belongs to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has released, glory to God, a little bit of power to me. He has released a little bit of power to you, Elder. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God ain't no fool. Glory to God. He's the only one that can stand in the past and look past the future. He knows your heart. Hallelujah. He knows your heart. Glory to God. Stop robbing God of his blessing. Stop robbing God of the anointing that he wants to put on you. Glory to God. Live right. Live sanctified. Live a holy life. Hallelujah. Unity brings us together as a people of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Unity makes life good and pleasant. Hallelujah. For our own sakes, as well as for the sake of the gospel, we need to do everything that we possibly can to live peacefully with others. We are to walk in the spirit and to have the mind of Christ in fulfilling his commands. If you don't have Christ, you can't fulfill his commands. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you don't have Christ in your life, glory to God. That piece of bread that you took down to the high shelter because you was not saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. The blood washes that bread. Glory to God. It's tainted. Tainted. Don't let your works for the Lord to be tainted. Hallelujah. Have you been washed? Have you been washed? Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? Oh, glory to God. Unity. And in my closing, unity. Come on and say unity. Do you believe in unity? Church, do you believe in unity? Hallelujah. Unity stirs God to anoint the people 
for service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I felt the power of the anointing that Greta had, that God gave her this morning. Hallelujah. I felt the anointing. Glory to God. I had to get up. Glory to God. I had to do my walk. Do my shake. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because there's blessing in the power and the anointing of God. When we in unity. Oh, glory. Ah, glory, anoint them, anoint them, anoint us with the overflowing fullness of his spirit. Christ is the head of the church. Glory to God. I'm not the head. Glory to God. I'm not the head. I'm fighting for my life, running for my life, just like every one of you are. Glory to God. Christ is the head of the church. The church is his body. We make up his body. I don't know where you are in the body, but you just want to be a part of the body. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing wrong with being a toenail, as long as it's part of the body. The Lord of God, it ain't nothing wrong being part of the backside, as long as it's part of the body. Oh, glory to God. Make sure, glory to God, that you're calling and election are sure. Oh, glory to God. Unity stares the Lord to pour out his spirit all over the church. I seen the power in the house of prayer this morning. If you didn't see it, glory to God, you weren't in unity. Glory to God. The fullness of the Holy Spirit flows down from the head, which is Christ, and covers the whole body. Unity. Unity is working in harmony. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I was watching service a few Sundays ago. They had two devotional leaders up front. Go ahead and clap, Elder. Just clap. Like a song. Hallelujah. They have glory to God. Praising and worshiping. Lord. Keep going. Glory to God. And the other one. Couldn't even get in time. Unity. You know what? Clapping is a part of the service, the worship service. Glory to God. We got to make sure that everything that we do, glory to God, that is in unity. Don't stop your blessing. Glory to God. Bishop Ella, God bless his soul told me we were sitting here in the church. Glory to God. That was when we had those theater cheers in here. <laughs> he said, Elder, glory to God. Stay on the right track. Glory to God. Unity is important. Don't be a one that stops the flow of God. You see that you are not in time. I remember when we was in the service. Come on, tomorrow. Come on. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on. Look at us. Look at us. Oh, glory. Don't it look good? Unity is beautified. They're anointed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You better not get out of step. Hallelujah. That drill sergeant, I don't know whether he might kick you in the butt. Glory to God. But there is punishment when you are not on time. You ever notice? I might get in trouble saying this. But when you come to service late, service going on, it's hard to get into service. Glory to God. Why? Because the fire is up here. You come in with your stick of wood, and you throw your stick of wood on that fire that has blazed. What's going to happen? It's going to die down. It's important for us to be on time. All of this is included in the blessings of God. Hallelujah. Unity and in harmony. There's nothing like working in unity, bringing it together with the harmony of the power of the anointing of God. Father, we thank you today for your word. Thank you, Jesus, for showering your blessings upon this doubt, your people. Lord, I hope that they understood that whatever they're going through, give them the strength to go through it. Because at the end of the tunnel is their blessing. Lord, encourage everyone, my God, that is in this service on today and them that are on the airways. Hallelujah. Stay in the race because the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but to them that endure. Be a endure. For the unity of God. Lord, remember the prayer requests. Thank you, Lord, for seeing our church mother, Mother Queen B. Bash. Hallelujah. Lord, she means so much to this house. Sometimes, Lord, words just can't express the love that we have for her. But Lord, if you would speak that the power of your anointing speak to her heart, let her know, Lord, that she's appreciative. We pray for Mother Freeman. Encourage her. Sometimes we have to walk through the pain Walk through the stress. Because when you do that, you are showing God that you are trusting in him. Remember my God, Mother Rita Freeman. Remember Mother Barbara Freeman. Lord, we pray today for Sister Vera Servant. And we wish her a happy birthday on today. Lord, we pray for Sister Barbara. Thank you, my God, for life on this side. Lord, continually to bless the people here at House of Prayer. Lord, I pray a special prayer for Sister Lakima. Lord, she's struggling. But Lord, you didn't give up on me. And we are not going to give up on her. Oh, 
touch her right now. Wherever she may be, Lord, we pray a prayer. Hallelujah. For Sister Tracy. She just don't know. But Lord, is there anything too hard for you? And the word came back that there's nothing too hard for God. Move Jesus in her life before it's too late. Lord, we thank you today. We thank you for worship leader. Thank you for Elder Faison. I thank you for Brother Joe. I thank you for Elder Lawrence. I thank you for Sister Carol. Thank you for Sister Mazetta. Thank you, Lord, for Brother Nate. Thank you for Brother Zaire, Sister Dominique. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For Adina. Thank you for Sister Fidel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for Sister Alicia. Thank you for Micah. Hallelujah. Thank you for glory to God. Everyone that's here, Lord, I'm leaving it in your hands. But it has to stop. Lord, you do it. Because if I do it, I might make a mistake. But if you do it, Lord, it will be done in a magnificent, holy, and honorable way. Show your power. Show your glory. Lord, and in my closing prayer, I pray for my sister. Sister Ruth Evelyn McKinney. I need you, Lord, to move by the power of your light upon her right now. Lord, Touch her right now in the name of Jesus. From the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Lord, move that scale of blindness from her eyes. Let her see the glory of God. And the work that she could be doing in your house. Touch her body right now, Lord. Touch her body, Lord. Glorify thyself. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, bind us together in unity. Hallelujah. Lord, we need so much from you. Show us. 
show your power the more. Hallelujah. Sometimes you don't have to say nothing. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for our Lord. Bless us. Come on, saints. Come on, clap your hands all over the house. Come on, let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Come on, we can do better than that. Come on, let's give God some praise all over the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's thank God for the word. Hallelujah. How many of you know that a unified church is a blessed church? Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. We thank God, amen, for the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. It was an, an on-time word. Praise the name of God. Amen. We thank God for that. Hallelujah. At this time, amen, we're going to change, amen, the order of service. And we're going to prepare to take the Lord's Supper. In the mighty name of Jesus. Well, it's offering time. <laughs> Praise the name of God. Amen. The Bible says, He which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man as he purposed in his heart, so let him give. Not grudgingly, nor of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. Praise the name of God. So, saints, let's give. Amen. Let's give. Amen. We have different ways of giving. Maybe you can give, amen, physically in the church. You can give electronically, amen, on Givelify. Praise the name of God. Amen. If you need an envelope, our ushers will attend to you. Amen. And so at this time, you are under the direction of the ushers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. For your liberality and giving. Amen. It's a blessing to give. Praise the name of God. It's a blessing to give. Amen. We thank God for that. Amen. That's how you worship God. 
Amen. Right. First lady hit it on the head. Given is worship. It's a, worship. it's a part of worship. Amen. So when you, amen, you make the choice not to give. Amen. <laughs> All right. Some of you know the word. <laughs> Praise the name of God. The Bible tells us that you're cursed with a curse. Amen. So that's cursed two times. Amen. So we don't want that. Amen. So we're not trying to scare you. Amen. But it's just, we just encourage you, amen, to give to God. Amen. You're not doing it, amen, for the man of God. You're not doing it for the church, but you're giving to God. Amen. That's how you show how much God means to you. Amen. So we thank God for you at this time. We're going to call on, amen, Sister Mazetta, that she may bring our announcements for the week in the name of Jesus. Come on, clap your hand as she come in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. So please, announcements, have you have heard on today, please govern yourself accordingly as you have heard them. In the name of Jesus, we turn it back over to the hands of the pastor. Amen. Amen. Sister Mila, I forgot to call your name. You forgive me. I'm sorry. I was talking to Mila, yeah. When I was calling your name, I forgot to call your name. You forgive me? Um, that's, that's, that's what happens when you start calling everybody's name. Uh, I forgot to call your name. I was calling the young people. Did I, I thought I called Sister. Uh, I'm sorry, Sister Nadine. You got to stop saying with them young people. <laughs> Amen. I am uh, so glad to see I, I have uh, adopted Alicia. Amen. She, she texts me doing, this week. I want to come to church. Will you come and pick me up at church? I said, oh, you haven't forgot me. And... Uh, so I was told, I said, well, I'll be there quarter to ten. So when I get to the church, she said, I'm ready to go. I'm ready now. So when I got there, she was ready to go. Uh, so glad to see her. Amen. I, when she first came here, she didn't like me. <laughs> yeah. I told her I was going to get next to her, though. Amen. I want to say something to you. Uh, as y'all know that in September, uh, the organization in West Virginia is doing a gospel concert. And I would like for some of the saints, if possible, who wants to go down in the hills of West Virginia to see how many we want to go and uh, so we can see what we need to do. I'm not going to do this if it's only going to be one or two. So let's get together and see the tickets are $25. I have uh, a committee set up. I got uh, Sister uh, Dominique and Sister Aldina going to work with that. And uh, we're going to see what we can do. If we uh, get enough people to go, uh, we'll pay for the van. But you have to pay for the room and board. You know, so uh, we'll see what's what I would like for. It's, 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 it's. It's, it's blasting off now, so it's going to be worth your trip, be worth your money, and take you down into the hills of West Virginia and take you to some of them coal mines. I'm going to leave y'all there. <laughs> Amen. Also, I want to tell you that, you know, when you give online, and it's truly a blessing when you give, but if you give, if you've been given $100, then your hundred dollars that you give is not going to be a hundred dollars when I get it. I just want to let you know that because there is a fee that you pay for that. So just I just want to make you aware of that. You know, online is easy, but nothing is free. I say nothing is free. Amen. So, oh, Holy Ghost is free. You have to give up. You have to give up yourself. So there's there's a price for everything to a certain extent. But uh, thank God for you. 
the vision that I have here for the church is not complete. The basement on this side is almost finished. Uh, they got, uh, they uh, still got a little bit more painting to do. They started painting the floors. And once they finished that, now, then we began to organize. And then uh, we're going we're gonna to move upstairs into the, uh, and get that done. I, I want to bring the beauty of this building with the skylights. I want to take that old ceiling down and let the skylight and get that natural light to come in and we won't have to burn as much electricity as uh, we're burning. I'm, I'm, I'm conservative. This is, it's amazing though, at home, my wife come in and come behind me and cut off the light. But when I'm here at the church, I'm cutting off a light for other people. <laughs> you know, I'm backwards. Huh? <laughs> but uh, thank God for Elder Lawrence. I, uh, I wanted to be in prayer this morning. He does the 6 o'clock prayer on first Sundays. It's a sacrifice, but it's be worth it. Amen. I couldn't make it this morning because I didn't get out of here until like 2 o'clock. So uh, I had promised him that I was going to be here this Sunday, but I'm sorry, Elder. When you was here last night, you kept me. <laughs> you went on went to bed. I was still here. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. you know, you will find out that I'm a very humorous person. I believe in, in, in when there's a time and a place for serious, and there's time and place for to laugh. Amen. So uh, thank you for coming out, and uh, I'm going to have bring other face and thank you for what you did today. Amen. He was the ram in the bush. Amen. The elder called him because he had to work today. Amen. So at this time, the elder didn't say anything, so we're going to bring the elder coming at him, say something, and then he can dismiss us in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, Elder Lawrence. I'm going to tell on you. <laughs> Amen. We praise God for his goodness and his mercy. I wasn't the one for him not being here this morning. He just stayed upstairs too late last night. Tell the truth and get a baby group. <laughs> but we praise God for his goodness and his mercy. And, you know, I almost didn't make it. I almost didn't make it. I tell you, the Lord was working things out on last night and this morning. And I was like, five minutes to six, I get the phone call. Where you at? I'm coming to get you. Who that? <laughs> I said, thank you, Lord. You know how to work things out. God knows how to work things out if you want to do something for him. It's a sacrifice, y'all. It's a sacrifice. And he honors it in Jesus' name. To be nothing next when we're going to ask everyone to stand. <clears throat> With bow heads, Father, in the name that is above every name, we thank you, O oh God, for this day that you have given unto us. And we pray your blessings be upon your people, O oh God, as they leave this place, but not your presence. Bring them back at that appointed time, O oh God, and keep them with their heart and their mind stayed on thee. For you said in thy word, Father, that you would keep us, O oh God, in perfect peace, those whose minds have stayed on thee. We thank you for all things in Jesus' precious name. And everyone say amen. Yeah. Say amen again.